Some say that dog days are over, and I'm telling you they're not. Cause from serious being back, I'm gonna keep the lasagna flying. Cause the dog days, well they've just begun for this young one. When I was first introduced to Rob Anton Wilson, I couldn't believe what I was experiencing. I couldn't believe what I was watching. I was watching Maybe Logic, The Lives and Ideas of Rob Anton Wilson, and it was a, a pretty much exactly a year before he passed away. I believe he passed away 2007, January uh, 2007. I can't. I'm not sure the actual day. I think it was fourth. But I watched him in 2006, and he just blew my mind into literally a perception that was totally different from the one I was experiencing. And myself at that point in my life, I was ready to grow and almost leave the perception that I believed was truth. I believed in David Icke's information. I believed in Alex Jones' information. And I created a lot of experiences because I believed that information. At that point, I wasn't even too conscious that what I believed was truth was just information. And when I found Robert Anton Wilson, personally myself where I was, what I was reading into, magic, the Illuminati, occult, esoteric information, I realized that I agree with some of these things. I don't think magic's bad. I think it actually benefit my life personally. So as I started to become open to this, I realized that my perception has changed. I realized that what I viewed two years ago is a complete contradiction to what I view now. And that was a big learning point in my life when I realized that I don't have the truth. All I have is my perception in accordance with what I believe to be true. And it is something to wrap your head around if you're just in the mainstream of life you got your thumb up your ass and you're feeding yourself with the other hand you're not gonna know what I'm talking about you're gonna be like this guy's speaking some fucking nonsense he's stoned off fucking weed or more drugs maybe I am maybe I'm on LSD right now maybe I'm on cannabis maybe I'm on opium maybe I'm on heroin only I can know and only you can perceive a trans in transactional psychology, there's a saying, all well, perception is gamble. Mm. Uh, everything I see is, uh, is, is uh, my brain's interpretation yeah. of bits of uh, thousands, millions of bits of light impacting on my yeah. eyes and uh, bits of sound waves impacting on my ears and other things. And I construct this hologram and project it outward and call it reality. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's all, it consists of tremendous amounts of gamble and guess. All perception is gamble. And when I think about it, how can we not view things differently from each other? I mean, yeah, we're all one, one consciousness, one love. But there's six, seven billion people in this world who are viewing things different from each other. So if I put these glasses on, for instance, I put these glasses on, I'm seeing from a Christian reality tunnel. Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. I take these glasses off. Maybe I'm open-minded. Maybe I can explore the teachings of Jesus Christ and the teachings of Muhammad and see how they're interconnected and one of the same. But if I put these glasses on, maybe I have a Muslim reality tunnel. I see how Muhammad is the prophet and he has the truth. If I take these glasses off, maybe I have an open mind. Maybe that I can see all the stories of our, our great teachers, Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, are all one and the same. Maybe all these teachings are different perceptions of the same thing. Now I'm just putting it out there, YouTube 2010, doing it big because this is what I can do. I can share my perception with you. I can share my feelings. Where will it go? That's up to you. If you want to believe me, then you might explore what I'm saying. 
If you think I'm an idiot, maybe the video's already off. It's all according to your perception. Well, the world uh, is made up of feuding and hostile groups, all of whom think they know reality and that everybody who belongs to another group is crazy. Mm. Uh, if you don't have my reality tunnel, you must be crazy or perverted or mm. a deliberate liar. And making people realize that we can never perceive the same reality, that every brain constructs a different reality tunnel, mm. this can decrease the amount of hatred and intolerance in the world. Mm. What I was trying to explain with these glasses is regardless of who you are, when you put on a pair of sunglasses, you have a different perception. It can get darker. If you have orange or yellow tints, the world can seem orange. Is the world really orange? Maybe. Maybe according to that perception you're experiencing. When you take the glasses off, is that world still orange? It's not. Does that mean your perception was false? Or was it just true according to the perception you were experiencing while wearing the glasses? Now what I'm trying to get at basically is that we are all seeing this world, what we experience from a tunnel, a reality tunnel. And as Robert Anton Wilson has explained, we all view life experiences from different perceptions and when you view life and experience this world from a different perception there might be somebody out there that would disagree with you or say that your perception is wrong and maybe it is maybe your perception is wrong according to their perception but is your perception right according to you maybe it is maybe you question your perception and feel, is this what I really think? Or is this just what I'm perceiving at this time? Now, it's all thought-provoking nonsense according to the mainstream of society, I feel. Or else I would be on, I shouldn't say that, because I can bring myself anywhere that I want. But the information that's going through this world right now is creates opportunity. The information going through your mind, the DNA that you are, is opportunity. Everywhere around you, you can see opportunity if you just create it. Now, I have no script in front of me. I have no real intention other than to share this video with you. Because I feel Robert Anton Wilson has shown me a lot of things. Just like maybe Buddha has shown him a lot of things. And I feel nowadays we don't need Jesus Christ, we don't need Buddha as much as we need ourselves. And when we realize we are Jesus Christ and that we are the Buddha, we will have back ourselves. So according to my perception, everything that you are experiencing right now is for you to understand. And only you can make that choice. So if you don't want to understand life, you're not going to understand life. If you don't want to experience new things, you're not going to experience new things. If you're comfortable in your pain, in your pain, which is your body, pain body, then you're going to be in pain for the rest of your life. But if we wake up and see the opportunity that we can create, we can change that. You can change your life. I could change my life. Are we going to? It's only up to you and me. So as I speak this nonsense to some, for the people that feel me, we're connected. We're obviously on the same frequency, the same vibration, you and me. And if you don't really feel this, I feel you're still giving this a chance, which in end may create an opportunity for you to see things. It's all up to you. And I say that like you have the power, you have the choice. You have the gift, and that's because you do. So do I. So does the guy down the street. We all have the opportunity to realize our true potential. And I'm saying this just from myself, from my head, from my DNA, from my reality tunnel, from my perception of which I walk down the street. And this is me. This is you. This is all of us. 
because when I speak, a part of me speaks for all, but a part of me only speaks for me. The message I brought back from the, the message of the panel on the whole weekend was that uh, we really are constructing this and, it, and we really can co-create what we want and not have to be passively sitting by in somebody else's perspective of reality. Well, we are doing it all the time, whether yeah. we're aware of it or not. Yeah. We're so it's a matter of getting in control of doing it positively, or is there any judgment? I mean, Well, uh, you're creating your own reality tunnel, but it doesn't mean you're creating reality. Uh, yeah. out, out of reality, whatever that is, out of the infinite flux of energy, you're creating your own uh, reality tunnel, and uh, uh, most people aren't aware of it. Uh, mm -hmm. Sad people think the universe is sad. They don't realize they're creating a sad universe. Mm -hmm. Angry people think the universe is making them angry. They don't realize they're making an angry universe. Mm -hmm. And of course, paranoids are the most modest people of all. They construct really fantastically melodramatic universes better than the best spy novels. Mm -hmm. And they take no credit for it at all. <laughs> they, they don't realize what great artists they are. Well, this, uh, I guess the difference between me and, you know, Salvador Dali said the only difference between me and a madman is that I'm not mad. <laughs> the only difference between me and a paranoid is that I take full credit for all the, <laughs> the weird pictures of the universe I create. Well, this brings us back to the question of the Illuminati, be it a paranoid concept or, or be it reality. Um, I mean, the, the most paranoid person would be creating that possibility. Is that right uh, in, that, in that line of thinking? Or is that... Well, yes. The um, if the I, I prefer to assume if the Illuminati exists, they're on my side. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'm, I've defined myself into a lunar loser script right, right. away. Right. right. Yeah, who wants to be in a loser universe? Mm -hmm. I prefer to be. So, if they exist, they're helping me. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's like the power elite. I've always defined the power elite as myself and my friends mm -hmm. because anything else right away puts you in a one down position and discourages you from doing your best. Right. Right. So I assume I, I am part of the power elite and then I look around and you say, well, why does Rockefeller have more money than me? Obviously, money is not the key to power. Mm -hmm. The key to power is wild, creative ideas, mm -hmm. bizarre ideas, new information, mm -hmm. wackiness. Mm -hmm. That's, that's where I think the reptilians, like, it could be as easy as that by them controlling and, and playing with us from outside this frequency range. And if we are their creation, we shouldn't worship them. Worship is bullshit. Don't worship your fucking pinky toe, man. And just fucking, you learn from it. If anything, I'm learning from all this information. If all this information isn't true, I don't give a fuck. It's fucking expanded my mind into perceptions that I can only imagine. And maybe one day I'll be a fucking raider, a science fiction raider. And people be like, yo, where do you get that shit? I'll be like, from my mind and from the stories that I perceived in my life experience. And people be like, yo, you gotta write a book about it. And I'd be like, I did that shit. I sold platinum albums and, and fucking got diamonds in my teeth. And I still speak the truth. Like fucking Tupac. So I'm gonna keep the lasagna flat. I'm gonna keep information coming at you because as it comes at me from my head down to my heart up to my eyes and out. Because this is my voice, this is my being, and this is Jay Winston.